We're here at MCRD and we're gonna get a shop tour today. Besides Broncos, uh -huh. everything here is a little bit different than what a lot of people work on. 1989, four x four, V6. This is my barbecue. Are you gonna do a disc conversion on this? <laughs> What's up guys? We're in Harupa Valley. I'm Morgan Clark. We're at Michael Cox Racing Development. Michael is a very smart intellectual fellow. He portrays that he doesn't know as much as he does, but he knows a lot. Oh yeah, I yeah. I know that truck. That's a special one. We're trying to figure out why my electric fans don't work. Michael Cox. What's going on? There he is. We're here at MCRD and we're gonna get a shop tour today. Yeah, this is one of the special ones I wanted to come see. I've known about this thing for a while, been around it. It's a special one. So I actually got to ride in this. At Hoonigan, we double stacked the ramps. Nelson, Nelson, are you a Nelson? What the <laughs> oh my god! They sky wheelie the shit out of this yeah, thing. <laughs> Bottomed yeah, hard. That was insane. It hurt. You can see that there's the negative camber going on, and I yeah. I always wondered like, was there more negative camber after that? Because those are some hard slaps. <laughs> that thing came down. What's up, Lemmy? Where's this uh cabinet at? This, this is a smoker? Yeah. And this is the one that uh, you made at Hoonigan, right? No, this is Vince's. Ah, oh, okay. Vince brought it to Hoonigan when we did build and battle. Yeah. So we could all eat well. Is that good or what? Oh, oh baby. Good. Dude. You yeah. hungry? Yeah. So yeah, we've been here since uh, 2019 sometime. Yeah. And uh, Vince actually lives in the front house. Okay. And then we work out of the shop in the back here. Yeah. So it's a pretty cool setup, nice and private. You know, keeps us having our head down, getting stuff done. Cool. You wanna go inside? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. This is inside. This is a 57 Chevy that we're turning into a drag car, which is really out of our wheelhouse of the work that we do here. Yeah. The fabrication work is not out of our wheelhouse, but the general design and tube layout is something that we're learning. It's really interesting. You'll like this. So this tube, an HRA spec, inch and a quarter, 058. Yeah, they use really thin wall stuff. 058. Yeah. It's a tinfoil car. Yep. Does that cage have to be spec or is it just? Yeah, yeah, okay. there's, a, there's a whole tube layout that it has to be. Yeah. And this isn't a real fast car, so it doesn't have all the crazy tubes everywhere. Is this gonna be a, a finish to completion car here? No, nope, we're okay. just doing the fab work. Just the fab work, yeah. copy. And this car, Bobby Woods built this Jeep and we're finishing this one to completion. Mm -hmm. um, you know, wiring, plumbing, engine, trans, the whole nine, so. Definitely. That's a pretty cool car. Very unique looking yeah. thing there. That's the ideal wheel and tire package for that thing, huh? <laughs> Nissan? James would love it. Yeah, James would be on that. I always appreciated your tooling because you had all your tooling white. Yeah. And it was like a really crispy, sanitary look. I tried. You know? And you brought it in here too because it's like this main room. You can see there's, there's two other rooms or maybe even three if it goes back that way, but there's this guy here, and then there's this white one that's very crispy, sanitary, LEDs, you know, the floors are done, and then all your white machines are in here. Mm -hmm. So with this, this is gonna be a running truck? Yep. What is the powertrain in that thing? It's just a little 5.3 Chevy. Okay. Yeah. Yep, yep. Anything crazy. A friend of mine owns it, and he owns some property in Utah. Him and his son are just gonna use it to bounce around, so yeah. you know, it doesn't need a big motor. Doesn't need bypass shocks. He's gonna be able to rip around and it'll be tight. Yeah, so. this seems like an ideal project for you because I know you kind of like to mess with unique things. Yeah. You dabble in a little bit of everything unique, but they're all cool. Yeah. That's the thing. They're not like weird unique where you're like, what the fuck? You know, it's, yeah. just, it's all like cool stuff. Yeah. Well, uh, if you'll look around besides Broncos, uh -huh. everything here is special. A little bit different. Yeah. yeah, everything is special yeah. and it's a little bit different than what a lot of people work on. So. Yeah. Um, and that's what makes it fun. We build LS engines, we flow test injectors, uh, I do a little custom paint. Mark out there does fiberglass and paint. <laughs> Vince does uh, general maintenance, diagnostic, electrical, and uh, engine rebuilding. So we kind of do a little bit of everything. So, and obviously we specialize in Port Broncos and off-road cars. So. Yeah, that's your roots, right? For yeah. the most part? Yeah. Yeah. And then, I mean, the BMW stuff and the, and the road racing is kind of 
your bread and butter. We do a lot of that too, yeah. There's just so many interesting little things to look at and trinkets on the wall. It's cool. So this is what we call Vince's side over here. Yep. And uh, like I said, Vince does all the mechanical and electrical work. What's that one's name? That's a male. Okay. You can tell by the way it is. What do you mean by the way it is? <laughs> Does he have a name or no? Uh, no, I don't think oh, he has a name. Spencer maybe or something, yeah. you know? So this thing, what's this guy? Uh, this is a customer of ours, Jack. We've done a couple little odds and ends to it. Most recently he had it out and grenaded the passenger side axle. and It was so bad that we had to cut the axle off to get the mm. snout off. You see that? Mm -hmm. But anyway, so, you know, just normal Bronco maintenance stuff. This thing uh, was in here a couple weeks ago for a rear main seal. So Vince pulled the trans out, changed the rear main seal. Yep. You know, just general maintenance stuff on this side. But... Nice lift. Yeah. I like that the, the ceilings are so tall so you can yeah. kind of manage whatever you need to. You know, I've noticed lately you've been doing the injector cleaning yeah. for a lot of people. Yeah. Where's that guy at? Injector machine? Yeah. It's over here in my office. Okay. I really like all the appointments in here too. This is too clean for me to handle. It's, in a shop. Well, There'd be like pitted glass. Pitted, so pitted like that. So there's that thing. Uh huh. I was just kind of fascinated by that because I've seen on your Instagram, you're getting a lot of business cleaning yeah. injectors with that thing. Right. And I didn't even know something like that exists. Yeah. I'm not super mechanically inclined with stuff like that. My whole thing is that I've gone through many injectors. Yep. And it seems like so many times we have problems with cars, it ends up being an injector. So it was almost just a diagnostic tool that we needed in house yeah. to, to further, you know, fixing our own problems. And then the other thing is that I was sending injectors out to another place, mm. and every time they went there, I had to buy new injectors. Oh, from shoot. Them. They were botching them. From them. Oh, because they were saying they're bad, and then they, you need new ones, and you didn't know for sure if that was the real deal. Right. Gotcha. So now we're doing them. We film it when we do it. Yeah. The customer gets a video of their injectors running, yeah. and it's all straightforward. Does your car run like shit? Well, if that's so, you need MCRD injector service. Send us your injectors. We'll change the O-rings, we'll clean them up, we'll make them look like new, and we'll ship them back to you. And it seems like you have a good team here that yeah. can kind of handle different aspects of things. And Speaking of good team, look at that gentleman right there. <laughs> It's me, Vince! <laughs> Brought lunch. Awesome. Sweet. What do you think so far? I love it here. Yeah. It's good. It's awesome. You know, like it feels comfortable being here. Doesn't, yeah. It doesn't feel like you're just in like a work environment or something. Mm -hmm. I was just a little disappointed that the cat didn't have a name. And it's been here for so long and nobody's named the cat. You come up with a name, like Jason, <laughs> and write it under there. I got you. <laughs> do you want me to put it on tape or just write it on the wall? Just write it on the wall. Okay. <laughs> This is uh, the war room. The war room. Yeah. Now, why is it called the war room? Vince, why is it called the war room? Because uh, there's no fighting in the war room. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It just that's how it worked out. But okay. it's basically, lunch room. Sometimes we play pool, but never. Extra Looks like storage. it's been a couple days. Yeah. If anyone wants to go racing, here's an extra, extra small catheter. I didn't have a good experience with that thing before. The takeoff process is. Quite painful. Yeah. Yeah. But don't you have to. <laughs> so, uh, the backstory on the shop here and yep. all this stuff is that Vince lives here okay. in the house in the front. Yep. And we work in the shop in the back. So, this was originally his uncle's house. And his uncle uh, passed away, what, 20, 21 years ago? Yeah, something 20 like that. years ago. Four years ago, Vince moved in and started clearing out the stuff in the shop because the shop hadn't been opened in roughly 17 yeah. years. Or yeah. This place was 100% full of stuff. So all the stuff you see on the walls that's obviously old or whatever was stuff of Vince's uncles that he found in here that he liked and he kept. There's a cool patina in here. It doesn't feel awkward or weird. It feels cool. It feels like a spot, you know? Yeah. I love all those file cabinets over there too. Like when I see old stuff like that, I just want to have it or geek on it because it's just better than the Take new shit. It. Yeah. Say, say no more. Got some extras. <laughs> we need a WD-40 sponsorship. <laughs> or a roll-up door sponsorship. <laughs> I think WD-40 will get a couple more out of that thing. There's all kinds of like cool little things out here. Yeah, so. all kinds of cool things. That thing, see, that's a, that thing looks 
pretty sketchy right there. This is my barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna be eating lunch off this. It used to be an old oil caddy, you know, you fill it full of gear oil, coolant, transmission fluid. That's Zion XB axle. Oh, okay. This is for your beers. And I like how they hold their uh -huh. live center there. Gyroscopics. Yeah, yeah. Gyros, they use those at NASA. <laughs> <laughs> this thing's awesome, though. Are you ever going to make that thing work? Like it the used throttle to body? work off this. That is but a throttle body, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. But that it does, <laughs> needs a little tune up. But it was really clever because that actually controlled air in the barbecue, make it run hotter yeah. and colder. Yeah, I'm, right? I'm so, picking the vibe up yeah. on that. He's a sharp little cookie. Are little you going to do a disc conversion on this, or is it going to be drums forever? <laughs> Should get a disc conversion. I don't see why not. Yeah. Brembo, if you're listening, I could use a sponsorship. <laughs> yeah, and then, I mean, we could go Holly on this guy. Yeah. Holly. I like that it's drive-by cable already, though. Uh -huh. You know? Easy swap. Well, show them your spatula, too. Or your... Oh, that almost got you in the good. <laughs> <laughs> the 1989 4x4 V6 manual transmission. Okay. So, yeah, his... Own... Now. Well, that's Vince Fab, too. I mean, they're still crafting that thing, uh -huh. if you will. You know what I mean? We're yeah. rolling the edges, we're keeping the radiuses. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then look at the junctions are cleaned up, they're sanded up. We're doing button head, uh, stainless, stainless, fasteners. yep, yep. And the nut search. Expanded w metal, shh, covered, rolled. So Vince is from Lake Arrowhead. Yeah. Right? And it snows up there. He goes up there to like rescue people and like stuff. And he got tired of always smashing his lights. <laughs> I crash a lot. Is that real though? Is it, you, it, yeah. That, so that was form follows function thing. Yeah. yeah, see how the bumper's all bent? That's from toe straps. <laughs> okay. Oh, you really are rescuing people. Sometimes. Yeah. And then, and all right. Uh, look, he's got this here. So that's for your uh, iPad. Charger? Yeah. You know? No way. Yeah. <laughs> Now, so that's when you're in the deep rescue and you got to post up in the back for a minute because uh -huh. everybody's trying to figure it out. So you want to plug in just so you can figure out your hookups, you know, mm -hmm. have to hang out back there for a little bit yeah. or you're doing mega tailgating. Mega tailgating, yeah. Yeah, you have the cooker and you guys got the tailgate down and you guys need to plug in for your radios or whatever. Yeah, the okay. sound system. I'm seeing a cool driver's seat in there. Yeah, yeah. that's out of an S2K. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And I got a glow-in-the-dark steering wheel. See, I'd still appreciate this stuff. That zip tie. And you left the runoff. Yeah, for extra run. <laughs> <laughs> so see, this thing has like a little like a JDM feel right here. Do you see this custom paint though? Yeah, I'm gonna cover that too. <laughs> yeah, this thing's kind of it's kind of right here. Stick shift. The S2000 seat matches too. It's also blue as the original interior. So, you know, when, when you're in the mall and they got that like car, a camera, oh, yeah. you fill out your email address. I missed that. Yeah. That's like the OG, like, soup safe. That was the best. Yeah. yeah. At 89, yeah. my uncle won this thing from Longo Toyota. Oh, okay. Longo Toyota. That's yeah. still standard. Yeah. That's awesome. I think you got to look at the front. He's wanted to build a big, burly front bumper for it for a long yeah. time, but it just hasn't gotten to it. Yeah. yeah. I always like all these trim, like little light bumpers, and mm -hmm. Vince is like, how are you going to break into Fort Knox with that thing? <laughs> yeah, but as you can see, he uses the front of the truck as a front of a truck. Yeah, to push yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. This was from a stop sign. In Mexico. In Mexico. It's a special, cool Bronco. What do you think the best upgrade, if someone just had a Bronco and they wanted to just start getting after it, what would you do first? I haven't driven this truck for almost a year now. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.